Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hoodie London. I'm a licensed cognitive behavior therapist and a licensed mental health counselor. Please like, share, subscribe if you enjoy the contents in this channel. Today, I would like to talk about the case of five-year-old Summer Moon Uta Wells, who was reported missing in Rogersville, Tennessee, Hawkins County. This happened on the 15th of June, 2021. Around 6.30 in the evening, Candice Bly, that is Summer Wells' mother, called her husband, allegedly, Don, Donna Wells, and said that she couldn't find her daughter, Summer. Dawn advised her to call law enforcement immediately and allegedly Candace did call law enforcement. According to Dawn Wells, the father, he said that Candace went around the property and Candace, Candace was planting flowers with her mother, Candy Hever, who lives in a camping trailer, trailer one, in in the property, the residence where Candace, Don Wells, and the four children live. When Summer was done planting flowers or cactus with the grandmother and mother, uh, Candace said that the mother, the Summer's grandmother, offered her a peppermint from the camping trailer, and then. Summer took it and Summer wanted to go and play with the brothers. The oldest being 12 to 13 years old, that, that happened almost two years ago. So Summer went down to her three brothers and she went down to the basement and allegedly, what's her name? Candace said that uh, she told the boys, look after Summer, I'll be back. and. The boy said, okay, and she said she was standing and talking to her mother outside. And then within, sometimes she says two minutes, sometimes she says five minutes, sometimes she says 20 minutes. Within a period of time, she went back to the house. The boys were upstairs in the kitchen playing PlayStation and watching some videos. She asked the boys, boys, have you seen someone? They said, no, mom, she's downstairs playing with the toys. She said, I called Summer, Summer didn't reply. She went downstairs, she searched. She said she searched through the duvets everywhere, but she couldn't find Summer. Now we have to keep in mind that there's a back door in the basement that leads to the outside of the door. And Summer has a swing that she loves to swing there. That is Summer's favorite swing. But that door is usually locked and the first day when Summer was reported missing, uh, David Dodson came from the church and he was the first person who spoke to the Wells and he asked Andis if the door was locked and he asked the sons and they said yes the door downstairs was locked. And then we have a person called Jose Roman, God bless his soul, who died tragically, he committed suicide. He used to live with the Wells for a while and he said that that door used to always be locked and there was a blue sofa covering the door, like facing the door so that the children couldn't unlock themselves and get outside. For some strange reason, Don Wells wants us to believe that that door was actually open there, allegedly. But according to the children, what they told Mr. David Dawson is that the door was locked and Mr. David Dawson told the unmasked that he told the whole story to the Tennessee Borough of Investigation and to Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. So I would believe definitely David Dawson over Don Wells. Don Wells' theories has been changing from day one and so has Candace. Let's not forget it took Candace exactly 13 days to come up and give an interview with WHJL, that is the local main news in Tennessee. Candice actually sent an email 
or a message to Facebook to uh, Danny, uh, Daniel Ainsley, I believe her, is, her name is the main reporter, and she told her that clearly that she doesn't want to be called by Candice Wells anymore. She used to go by the name of Candice Wells. We've seen Facebook pictures of Candice, Dawn, married in the church or having a wedding ceremony, kind of, with the mother there and the children. So why would a wife want to distance herself from her husband all of a sudden when a child is missing? That is, in fact, the time that you all are supposed to be united, supposed to be strong. Just like a good example, the McCain's. When their daughter Madeline was missing, no matter if they were being falsely accused or whether they were being rightly accused, they were still standing strong, not giving up on the search to find the search to find Madeline. They still haven't given up the search to finding Madeline McCain. But you have Dawn and Candice here walking around like someone never ever existed. And that is concerning because each and every case that we've been following has come to some kind of closure, except the Dawn's case, Dawn Wells and Candice. So today, today I was actually thinking about of, for change, looking from another perspective, like we should have done with the nuclear bully case. It's not good to look at it one-sided. And I was thinking to myself, maybe maybe many of us have been too harsh and dumb. And candy. So I thought to myself, let's play. I thought of playing around playing along with this theory that Don Wells is coming with. Don has been saying from day one that somebody abducted someone. Then I thought of one thing. When I watch each and every interview, you have Don's interview with the professional behavior panel, like and share and subscribe to them, they're excellent. And when they were asking Don questions, Don himself, while you're talking, he said that the TBI, the Tennessee Bar of Investigation asked me if I had any drug debts. He means like if he gave away summer in exchange of drugs debts and then the behavior panel told Don that it's, it's normal that they try to rule people out, so they ask questions like that. But then I was thinking to myself, since Don has been in crimes, plenty of crimes, since he was 15, 16 years old, I was wondering, could Don possibly have got himself, him and Candace, stuck up in a difficult, sticky situation that they couldn't get off and they made a trade? with unfortunately with poor summer because Don is so keen on this abduction that I wonder if he messed with someone that they decided to kidnap his daughter without him being aware of it they could have warned him but he didn't take them serious and they could have taken some in return it's just a thought because I thought of it like he's been away like almost a year in jail now and he's come out in jail and he still says the same thing so I don't know if this could still be a cover up that they're playing along because I've always said Don and Candice are not to be trusted 